And if you don't do anything for a little bit, like it took about a minute for the video to process, I guess because there's so many colors, Gretel falls asleep. Isn't that cute? Okay. Also missing is the bunny. I shot the bunny while I was waiting for the video to process, and it ran away. Much like that crow will now run away. So we need to get a few more bits of stuff. And so we're going to head back over here and get that damn squirrel that I hate. Hate you, squirrel. So we'll throw the squirrel down. Run over here. Shoot that little bugger. And then hit the button. And you are now trapped. Take that. Let's head back inside. On the inside, we find that my retarded little brother, Hansel, is drawing. What is it? It's a crayon drawing. We're going to steal his papers, because here they want fire. If you drop the papers in the fireplace... Now, when I first played this game, it took me forever to figure out how to start this fire. I tried doing all kinds of stuff with the window. I looked all over outside for a match or a torch. No, if you happen to be able to pick out the tiny little bit of glint that's happening on the pipe here, it's kind of obscured as far as I can see by the sunbeam coming through the window. I thought it was glinting because of the sunbeam. But if you shoot that, sparks fly off and set fire to the paper. Unfortunately, right behind the Newgrounds logo. And if you stand in the fire, you will catch on fire. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! And my retarded brother cheers and whoop de doos while I burn to death. Poor Gretel. Saddled with an idiot for a brother. Alright, so let's head outside. Now that we've started a fire, the smoke will make the bird fly away and drop the stone. We'll head down and grab that. And there's one more stone to get. There are more stones in this game than necessary because there's actually two stones we haven't gotten. There's the one here in the beehive, and then there's the one on the spider web. So there must be some uh, leeway. All right, so we want to knock the beehive down with a stick. Now we can't grab the stone because the bees are in the way and they're going to kill us. In fact, let's see what that looks like. They, st they sting the crap out of me. Ah, and I'm allergic to bees. I didn't know this. This makes this plan very suspect. And you die. So we're not going to do that. Instead, and this was the most difficult thing for me to figure out, all the hidden stuff in the game was difficult just because I wasn't expecting stuff to just be barely poking out from behind things or just barely noticeable sparkles hidden in a beam of sunlight. But here apparently you kill bees by eating mushrooms. If you didn't know that eating mushrooms and then belching up the noxious gas would kill bees, now you know. So here we're going to grab that stone and we're done, technically. If you don't finish there, Hey, kid. <laughs> Hello, kids. We are going to the forest. And you will look at the trees and you will be happy. But why are we going to the forest? <laughs> we are going to the forest. Now shut up and follow me. If you don't um, find all the same stones, I guess, and you miss one, and you need to get to the one from the spider, well, that was the sticky yellow stuff, so you just dip the doll in the honey, go back, give it to the spider, and when the spider drops down to grab the doll, it gets all stuck together, and uh, then you can just pluck the stone from the web. I've played this, this is three times now, and each time I end up getting different stones. There's got to be like 11 or maybe 12 stones you can get, because I've skipped the spider one, I've skipped the beehive one. No, not the beehive. I've skipped the well. Here, this is a mini game you have to play. You have to use the directional keys. You have to use the mouse. Oh, and you have to shoot. Why are you jumping? 
There we go. I guess my space bar was stuck. So you're going to drop the stones, run around to avoid the vermin that are on the road, the spiders and what have you, drop the stones by clicking on them, and then jump over fallen logs. And later on, you're going to have stupid brother being abducted by crows. And in all of this, if you get hit by vermin, like I'll go ahead and trip on one if another one comes by. Come on. Okay, I'll trip over the log. You get dazed and you fall back towards the wagon and then the wagon runs over you and blood splatters everywhere and nobody notices. Dad is pretty quick too, chained up to it. That wagon as he is. Mom's got a martini glass and a cigarette. I suck at jumping over the logs, by the way. You have to jump much earlier than you think you should. Because I used to jump a little bit too late, and you end up tripping before you even reach the log, like I did just there. Ah, no, 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 no. Run forward, run forward, run forward, run forward, run forward, and I died again. You have to stay up towards the front. Did you know that the little the little face up there looks like bubbles from the Power Puff Girls? There we go. See, here's where you have to start saving your brother from crows. They're going to come and abduct him. The first time I played this game, I didn't save him at all, and nothing bad happened. But now I know, so I'm going to go ahead and save him. I don't know if there is a point to actually saving him. I think he would do better off if we let the crows have him. That would mean more potato for the rest of us. So I don't know why I'm so concerned. Run, run, run. And here's the end. Yay! And now having run so far, we're all tuckered out and we fall asleep in the forest. And it looks like mom and dad have left. Goodbye, crow. Nice fire. <gasps> and now she realizes. Art by David Bay. Animation by Mako Pudding and David Bay. Programming by Mako Pudding. Music by Mike Rudolph. The music is kind of soothing. Sound, freesound.org. Voices, Von Blumenthal and Mako Pudding. If by voices they mean... And then here's this little bonus scene after the credits. I don't know what this is, but it scares me. It looks like a witch of some sort. I think that's pretty obvious. But does that look like a witch who lives in a house made out of candy? It does not look like the witch who lives in a house made out of candy. So that's Stones, part one of the three-part Gretel und Hansel. There are Cart Father, I don't know exactly how to get that, Cart Hansel, and Axe. I also know that we got both of the pieces for the clock, but I don't know exactly what you do with the clock to kill people. So these are the... I don't know where Axe... Axe would have to come earlier, but Cart would have to be during the actual Cart scene. Maybe I can shoot my slingshot at the dad or at Hansel and cause them to die. I don't know. I got Cart Gretel, so it must be that the father or the uh, brother die somehow. I killed Hansel, got killed by the spider, the bees, the rabbit, the fire, the crow. Huh. This is a fun game. Um, it's very fun to look at. And actually the sort of juxtaposition here of this little uh, artwork on the inside compared to the artwork before that looks really watercolory. This looks like Order of the Stick slash Earth World almost. Little figures inside the hash mark circles. Kind of D&D-ish to me. Oh well, you can play this game. It's on Newgrounds.com's front page. There's a big banner for it right at the top. Actually, I can just show that to you. Go to Newgrounds. There it is. Gretel and Hansel. Play. And that's what I saw. And it just looks like the kind of artsy game I would like, and so I started. Although, you get a very different vibe from this picture. It looks like Hansel is comforting Gretel. And yet, when you play the game, it turns out that Hansel is functionally retarded, and Gretel is the competent one. I enjoyed the game. Goodbye.